All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, fellow pandemonium travelers, this is Seattle Pandemonium Shutdown, day 353, I think. So what's going on? What's going down? We've got poor Tiger Woods. I say poor Tiger Woods because, you know, the guy's... The guy's hands are probably insured for more than, you know, most people's, net, you know, net life, <laughs> life value is. Um, he, uh, we, we don't know. We don't actually know. Is he okay? He has de injuries to his legs. Is a car accident, a uh, single car accident, meaning he, it might all be his fault. Is that the idea? Um, some gruesome imagery from that crash. But I, like other people have pointed out, I, I don't know that I care per se. I mean, like, I hope dude's all right, but like, dude should just stay away from cars. Not a lot of luck with the cars so far. And, and he, didn't he have the, the Lincoln endorsement? Yeah. Isn't that kind of like... Uh, what's his name? Springsteen getting a Dewey. Uh, when he's the spokesperson for Jeep. Isn't that kind of a bad look? Just a thought. Since corporations are so concerned with optics that they like to cancel people, fire people over social media posts, I'd think reckless driving of that kind should result in some kind of consequence. I mean, let the guy heal up and all, but, you know. Anyways, what else is going on? Speaking of injuries, some kind of crazy stuff went down on the, uh, on the uh, set of this Michael Bay movie. Not sure what the movie even was. Didn't look more into it. Just watched the clip. Basically, it looked like an ambulance was involved in some kind of high-speed chase in the movie, right? So on the set, it's like blowing through a, uh, uh, a roadblock with a bunch of cops and stuff. And they shoot at the ambulance. And then the ambulance was supposed to like explode in a fireball, I guess. Well, it seems like it hit some cars and cars kind of exploded and maybe went the wrong, flew the wrong way. And you see people getting hit and everything. Uh, seems like the stunt might have gone horribly wrong. Or maybe this is all just like kayfabe stuff and it's all just uh, made to fool you into being interested in the Michael Bay movie, which, you know, people always say they hate and yet he just makes fat stacks with every every obnoxious film that he puts out. I like Bad Boys though. Bad Boys was good. Um, but... I don't know, maybe that segues into the other, like, trending little viral story today, which is, uh, the video, rather, uh, video trending of this, uh, lady, um, a, 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 a person who presents as female. She, uh, confronts two, I, I'm gonna say two, I think it's two gentlemen in a vehicle, and says that they're following her and they're harassing her and she's gonna call the police. And then they point to her that, point out to her that uh, she's dragging in her car, she's dragging from the gas, <laughs> the gas nozzle, uh, the hose and, you know, the gun from the gas station. So she drove off with the, you know, pump hose in her gas tank fill location. Now, here's the thing. That is a thing that happens. I happen to know at least one person who has done that. Uh, it's dumb. I don't, I've never done that. I hope that I'm always, you know, because I do have perfect situational awareness, so that won't happen to me, but you never know. I should, I should hope that that doesn't happen to me. But... The video in question, after watching it more than once, because 
uh, people keep sharing it. That's how these things go. You end up having to see it multiple times. Um, I I kind of think it's fake. And uh, that kind of I guess that kind of relates to what I was saying before. But it's like there's plenty of room for fake, uh, you know, hoaxed, uh, you know, staged content. Staged is the right word. Um, to go viral because it, it it actually kind of is a form of cultural propaganda, right? So what this is, is this woman being all woke. She's like yelling at these guys about how she's a woman and she doesn't feel safe and you're harassing me when what they were just trying to do is be helpful, right? And why can't these like, you know, woke feminist broads just chill out and like understand that men are being helpful. Like that, that's kind of like what the, that's what the, the, the cultural propaganda that's being reinforced by a clip like this. And oh, and she's dumb because the uh, hose is hanging out the driver's side of her car. So she confronts them, yells at them uh, takes her sunglasses off at one point for some reason, and then goes back, takes the hose out, puts it in her car, but doesn't close the gas gap, uh, the gas cap or the, the lid on the fill location, and drives away. So then they get another chuckle at that, like, ah, oh, she didn't close that either. So this is why I think this is fake, because she would have seen it if she had just looked in her side view mirror, which she says she was claiming that she knew they were following her. So, I don't want to Zapruder film this thing, but it's like, she would have seen it because she got out the driver's side of her car and walked back and would have walked past the hose. And the hose is like laying all the way down on the ground. Like she would have had to walk around it to go back and confront them. So I, I don't, I just think it's fake. And I mean, at first I'm like, that's funny. But now after, after watching it more than once, it's like, yeah, I think this is fake because, again, this is not really how people talk to each other. I understand that sometimes people can go on, like, a woke tirade about, like, you know, I'm a woman and this means my safety is, you know, my a woman's safety is important, and etc., etc. Like, this has happened. But this isn't really, this isn't how people conduct themselves in traffic. Like, in traffic, it's, fuck you, what are you doing? You know? No, fuck me. I got a policy around here. It's called no fuck you. And then people are not coherent and they just yell at each other. Like, there's not, there's not like woke ideology happening in traffic uh, conflicts like that. Like, why are you following me? Well, if you thought they were following you uh, and you were in danger, then why didn't you just call the police to begin with? Or, you know... You're confronting them, like, why would you go to them if you're afraid of, of the Like, it's just, it, it doesn't add up, actually. Now, again, so it's funny as almost like, as like a skit, essentially. But, again, I just don't, I just don't think it's real. And it, this kind of stuff happens a lot. I mean, there's all kinds of content that goes viral. Um, you know what seemed real? was that football player getting his ass handed to him by that, like, Muay Thai guy or whatever. Like, this this guy is talking trash to this, uh, to this guy and, and his friend. And they, I guess they were football players. And these two dudes just go to town on them. They're, like, in a bathroom, I guess. Because, you know, the best place to roll on the floor is a bathroom of a bar. Uh, <laughs> men's room of a bar. Uh, but they just got uh, annihilated by these guys. And it's, uh, that, that looks real to me because, oof, uh, the, the, the ground and pound looks pretty real. So that, that's not staged. There's plenty of fights and stuff like on, you know, your live leaks and your, well, I mean, just make your play if you're going to make your play. Don't, don't half-ass it. Full-ass it. Um, what's going on? Do I have a lane? Do I not have a lane? What's going on, guys? Really trying to 
really trying to work with the construction bros down here, but sometimes they make it a little, they make it a little tough. But yeah, viral content, distraction, it's funny, but again, you know, reinforces different people's, you know, various people's preconceived notions, you know. Well, well this is what these sort of like woke feminist women are like, and this is, you know, uh, she's flying off the handle. Uh, maybe she was driving a Benz or something, so it's also like, oh, it's like a rich woman. I don't know, there's probably a bunch of other intersectional check boxes for why it is that people think it's funny to dunk on this particular sort of type of woman. But, uh, I don't know, maybe it's real, and maybe I'm wrong, you know what I mean? Like, maybe it is real, and I'm so cynical that I'm, like, inventing, like, a conspiracy theory, basically, that, like, ah, oh, these people, like, made this up and constructed it. But, I don't know, there's some clever people out there. They they make some clever stuff, and it, uh, it can go very viral, and people think it's real, and it can, you know, confuses people and whatnot. And, did I, are you crooked again? goodness so yeah I don't know this is day 353 guys um, I guess we wish a speedy recovery to one to mr. Tiger Woods oh god in heaven chitty chitty bang bang chitty chitty bang bang we love you chitty chitty bang bang chitty chitty bang bang that's just driving on Seattle streets that's not you know I'm not in a monster truck or anything. That's just what it's like to drive on our busted ass streets. Oh, goodness gracious. Getting an argument on the internet today with somebody about this, about the state of our cities and what they, you know, how they're looking these days. And I've, you know, I've, I've hammered on this myself that I've got pictures and videos of, you know, just homeless camps you know, tents everywhere, garbage, all kinds of awful, awfulness, and no humanity. And I have people being like, no, the cities are still good, man. It's like, nah, no, it's not, guys. I'm telling you, there's, there's, a, there's something coming where a whole bunch of people, once they get the means, are going to bounce from these places. Um, properties are going to start getting bought up by, like, I think huge corporations, I think megacorps are about to start buying everything up. And then they will, they'll, and they're gonna enforce order. <clears throat> I totally changed the subject to my dystopian vision. These megacorps like Amazon, they're gonna buy up most of Seattle. They're gonna implement private security measures all over the place that will be uh, way more like, way more heavy handed than what you've seen from law enforcement over the years. And they will control the cities with an iron fist. And they will dictate. They, they'll they basically leverage local government like a puppet to set housing prices and everything else for their benefit. And then they will control all the housing and all the housing will go to their employees. And if you're not one of their employees, then you'll have to live outside the city. Like, I'm only, I'm not really kidding. I mean, this is this is what you would do if you want to control, say, a major seaport like Seattle, right? Where all of your, your, your uh, trade and commerce come through this port and you're a huge company like, say, Amazon. That's your lifeline to your foreign manufacture and foreign trade. So why not leverage control over the local government buy everything out, buy up all the, you know, important land, buy up all the housing, and then you get to control everything. We'll put it all towards your bottom line. Wow, that was quite a journey, right? Tiger Woods, fake viral news, fake viral clips, uh, the dystopian corporate, uh, corporate fascism that we're headed towards. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.